Hello and welcome to CIU News. I am Kushpa Sonia, host for the broadcast and chief editor at CIU News. This is our exclusive interview series on the topic of network transformation. It is a recorded session and will be available on our website that is ciunews.co.in and our CIU News LinkedIn handle. It's my pleasure to invite our guest again on the CIU News platform, uh, Mr. Mukul Singhal, the Head of Digital and Chief Information Officer at Soft. Mukul is a result-driven technology and a business technology leader with over 23 years of experience. Um, he's been heading the business unit and um, you know, has taken care of, has various responsibilities spanned across various functional areas, including p &L management, business strategy, operations, relationship management, IT, and management consulting. Um, Mukul, I'm really excited for our today's uh, conversation on the secure network transformation, and I'm really looking forward to get your perspective. Welcome once again. Thank you, Kushbu, and I'm delighted to be here once again and talking to to you and all the all the viewers uh, for this uh, channel or discussion. Awesome, great. Um, so, Mukul, I wanted to begin by putting across our first question. Um, you know, on from a perspective of uh, the whole consequence around the pandemic, what um, long-lasting network projects you are currently undertaking or planning to undertake, um, you know, because of the change network topology with significant user base and customer base uh, becoming remote? Yeah, uh, network transformation Khushbu, is a very interesting topic because we always talk about data center transformations. We talk about application transformations. Uh, yeah. But today uh, is equally important for network transformation as well, given the uh, the environments are so remote, given that uh, we're using a lot of SaaS products, given that there are so many of security threats. So considering right. all that, we also focus a lot on uh, so, uh, the network transformation. And uh, the way I would put that is uh, when we started looking at the network transformation um, in our organization, the first of thing that we looked at is how we can perform the network discovery. And the prime reason for that is to get the entire network topology and the mapping uh, for all the uh, all the devices and, and which are on the network and so on and so forth. Because uh, the network uh, topology software and we kind of identified that, that which one we have to use, it enables uh, our entire IT admin to understand how the overall network inf infrastructure is organized. Right. And by knowing that, we need to visualize the dependencies on each device. We need to mm -hmm. identify that what devices or applications might be causing uh, the performance or uh, to other devices or, or the performance impact to other devices or to the security threats as well. So it was very important to uh, discover and find the topologies both for physical and logical network. Because if right. you talk about uh, physical topology, it emphasizes that about all the physical layout that uh, the uh, connected devices and the nodes and so on and so forth. But while we talk about the logical uh, topology, it focuses on the pattern of data transfer between network and nodes, right? right. So we need to understand that very well. And that right. gives us kind of end-to-end uh, -end visibility, a 360 degree view across the network that, okay, what has been the historical view? Uh, what is the possible network path? Uh, so we need to have that kind of a visibility. And right. why, why we need all that stuff? Why we need all that stuff is not uh, multiple reasons actually, because one is we want to really do a uh, proactive and predictive insights, okay? Because proactive is about to get ahead of the problem, uh, but definitely predictive is to stay ahead of the curve. And okay. we see that, okay, what assessments we see that impact the changes and so on and so forth. So hmm. uh, the, the principles that we followed and we are following up and that we are maturing as we go ahead, uh, that how do we do a guided remediation? Uh, okay. Today we, we do on the raise, uh, user inputs, we remediate on user inputs. But as we, okay. as we move to the future, we have to see that, okay, how the automated remediation should happen in the network itself. So okay. all these things are our uh, principles based on that uh, we are transforming the uh, network. 
Awesome, awesome. And do you or your organization feel that you know home IT infrastructure, the broadband, is organization's responsibility or work from home users' responsibility? And is your organization pondering over the model in which you know you can ensure SLAs plus billing for work from home users? So interesting. I would say it's a combined responsibility. We can't just right. uh, say that it's. Uh, one or the other responsibility because we need to ensure that there is uh, neither the uh, impact to customer experience or the employee experience. Okay. Correct. Because see, you you already know, and we have we have been discussing multiple times that the hybrid model is here to stay. It's not going to go True. away. Yes, the percentage might vary, and depending True. on the uh, situation of the, the current pandemic and everything, it might percentages yeah. might vary, but it is here to stay. Correct. And uh, while it is here to stay. It is very important that how do we enhance the experience for at both ends, customer and employees. Right. Right. And uh, for that to happen, uh, we need to ensure the high availability. Okay, and right. uh, which also includes the resilience of the VPNs. Uh, and those VPNs are can, can be uh, to the connecting to the organization or connecting to the customers, whatever it okay. is. But it has to have a high availability. Uh, right. Secondly, we need to have a robust backup mechanism for, for all the local machines, right? Right, uh, right. The data is stored that we need to have a robust mechanism. And then right. uh, while we need to have that, then it becomes evident that or high paramount importance that how do we have the security hardening and higher compliance for these for these devices, whether they are uh, infrastructure or or cloud device on the cloud and so on and so forth doesn't matter right, right. Uh, and the connectivity that we do uh, uh, to the customer uh, or to the corporate we need yeah. to ensure that okay, how secure are those connections the network Correct. security is very very important to avoid any malware uh, malware threat and production we have to give it to to uh, to our employees and so on and so forth so uh, by considering all these factors in mind uh, uh, we we as a team have to prepare our entire remote management strategy, right? Mm -hmm. And that okay, uh, which includes uh, a unified communication guidelines. Uh, okay. We decide the goals, manage expectations, uh, track employee performance, and so on and so forth. So okay. uh, while uh, while we are doing the best we can, we are also changing the mindset of the people who are working in a kind of a remote mode. So okay. that's why once again say that it's a kind of a combined responsibility that okay. uh, everybody has, both both uh, sides have to take. Right, absolutely. Um, great, and how is your organization um, adopting to innovation to provide um, continuity services and cope up with this whole changing business requirements? So, uh, see, if we, uh, if, it, if we talk about uh, uh, the entire uh, mechanism to uh, cope up with the with this with this changing business requirements, uh, because we are we are touching base the topic of uh, transformation and that to network transformation, we right. we have to see that okay how these actions and insights are actionable and and in much more in a simplified way, right? Okay. And for that to happen, the transformation of network. Uh, is is very important, okay? Correct. And because uh, which which leads to the path of the automation, which means that automating the configuring, the managing, testing, deploying, operating, all of our physical and virtual devices within a within a network, okay? Yeah. And uh, there has to be methodology in place, uh, which uh, which should configure this automatically and provisions and manages all these network devices, okay? Right. So. Right. Uh, so when when we when we look at it, it's important that okay, how can we create a kind of uh, software image-based management? Okay, like we yeah. do image-based management for our for our end devices, endpoints. We have to do for networks also. Okay, okay so which and the and the prime intent uh, that we have been looking for it is that okay, how can we uh, do an intent-based network upgrades? Okay, which right. which means capturing your network upgrade intent. And to automate yeah. the process to drive uh, consistency, primarily, yeah. 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 streamline the processes of upgrade. That how can the base image be used to do the patching and other add-ons in a single workflow? It should yeah. be workflow based. 
Okay. Right. How can we create a trustworthy uh, integrations that shows that the devices images are not compromised in any way? Network security has to, uh, has to be protected uh, and helps protect your workstation from any harmful spyware. Right. Correct. And this like patching support that okay we do a pre post. Uh, uh, checks and ensure that updates do not have any uh, adverse effect or impact on the network. So all yeah. this has to be a kind of a image management based uh, and uh, it has to work in an automated way. And that's the kind of change in the way we operate and do the business right now. And the kind of we are using the innovation techniques that we are implementing in to, uh, to streamline all this. Got it. Got it. And um, so as for you, what is the future of enterprise connectivity? So uh, when we talk about the future, because if you really see, um, we are moving uh, infrastructure, we are moving to the cloud. We yeah. are moving towards the SaaS products, right? right. As, we, as we go into that, uh, currently what it becomes important of and paramount important is that how we also uh, change our uh, uh, network connectivity. Okay, okay. From, let's say, uh, let's say we move from, uh, move from MPLS to SD WAN, okay? Right. Because right. the uh, because SD WAN can help us out to aggregate all type of networks into deliver a more consistent user experience, which user uh, which user can connect uh, from anywhere. Okay. And especially with the with the SaaS products, it becomes it becomes thing, uh, it's becoming very important. Right. right? And uh, also uh, with with majority of applications. Uh, are, are on the cloud, uh, it's becoming a part of the cloud network is becoming the new enterprise core. Okay? Correct. And, Correct. Uh, we have to our design and deploy our, maintain our cloud network for the maximum agility. Right. Which includes performance, security, uh, the operational efficiency is vital to any of the organization deploying and being it public or private cloud. Correct. Right. So Correct. Cloud network uh, provides that connectivity uh, between the applications and the workload uh, across various clouds. It's, it's becoming a important and vital to the performance and security and efficient management. Okay. Right, right. And and for that to and for that to happen, uh, that how how our IT teams can become uh, more agile, smarter, and faster. I would say. So yeah. the way the way I think it is, uh, Kushbu, is that okay? How do we uh, how do we enhance our operations? And that can be in multi, multi ways, whether we talk yeah. about uh, net ops, right? The automation yeah. and uh, workflow simplicity, which uh, empowers and streamlines the network management. Right. Uh, second is, let's say, SecOps, okay? Identify yeah. and classify our endpoints, uh, which creating user groups and policies and increase security. Right. Uh, DevOps, which is uh, resources to deploy application and ensure performance uh, we, basically, we have to mature in our complexity of interconnecting the third-party systems, right? Correct. And, and then the AI ops, that, okay, how, a, how AI, ML, these uh, machine learnings uh, can simplify and streamline every aspect of IT operations. Correct. So if you look at the aspects, uh, probably I would say that this is how the enterprise future looks like, according to me. Right. Right. I think uh, very correctly said, in fact, while the acceleration of, uh, uh, you know, cloud adoption has happened in this whole last two, three years, uh, network to the cloud is become the most priority and the security of cloud has become most priority for a lot of CIOs and CISOs. Um, great. Um, my one last question before we end today's um, discussion, Mukul, is any best practices uh, that you can share around network transformation for our viewers and CIOs uh, that have been your learnings? Uh, that'd be great. Sure. Uh, so let me uh, uh, let me say one thing, Kushbu, uh, uh, as we talk about network transformation and as we uh, move ahead. Slowly, we are moving from completely on-prem to cloud-enabled to to cloud-based network. Actually, yeah. this is yeah. how we are transforming. Okay, yeah. and when I when I say that, because our networks uh, traditionally has been completely on-premise, but when we talk about cloud-enabled network, the network is 
uh, is partially on prem and some part of it is on cloud yeah. uh, and we say the code while the code network can still be on the uh, on the in prem uh, but uh, the things like uh, network management monitoring maintenance and security services are done through the cloud okay right. and one example is using saas based firewalls to protect the on prem on prem networks right yeah and yeah. Uh, secondly when i say uh, cloud based network then then the entire network is on cloud and that's why they are the okay. organizations are maturing to that that includes the network management resources and the physical hardware the cloud based networks uh, is used to provide connectivity between applications and resources is completely deployed on cloud correct right correct so so we are taking the journey from uh, from enter- from on prem to enable to completely cloud based and it's okay. and it's critical that okay that we gain end to end visibility to analyze uh, analysis of application user and devices across network so that we can be more agile we can be okay. uh, more automated and we can be more uh, more uh, driven remedy driven rather than just user inputs so that's that's okay. how the industry is uh, going and everybody is maturing towards that awesome great uh, wonderful insights mukul um, i like to thank you once again uh for taking our time for us um uh, on this topic and we look forward to having more interactions with you on our different topics thank you kushboo pleasure is all mine to having interacting with you and hope uh, this discussion helps and uh, a lot of people gets from it thank you so much absolutely absolutely great thank okay. you so much mukul thank bye you kushboo have a great day ahead bye you too bye bye